بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہاؤ آر یو اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو ڈے وی ول اسٹڈی لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی ٹو سبجیکٹ فزکس یونٹ نمبر تھری ڈائنامکس پیج نمبر ایٹی ٹو students the first question today we will do the short answers on page 82 the first question is define the following terms so first we have to define inertia then we we have to define momentum then force friction and centripetal force centripetal force centripetal force Now, in, we already defined inertia, that property due to which it oppose change of state, opposes change of state, change of state, we already defined it, momentum is already defined, we also define the force, momentum is the product of mass and velocity and uh, P is equal to mv, momentum is a vector quantity, unit is newton second or kilogram meter per second. Then we define the force, anything, uh, force is the push or pull of an object or anything which produces acceleration or an agent which changes or tend to change the state of an object is called force, measured in newton. Friction, the opposing force to the motion of the body is called friction. Centripetal force, the force which compel the body to move in a circular path is called centripetal force. Now, the next question is, what is the difference? What is the difference? It's 3.3. What is the difference between, the difference between first mass and weight mass and weight so first i will explain this already explain mass the amount of matter amount of matter weight the pull of earth are the force with which the earth attracts a body towards its center. Force of attraction. Force of attraction of earth. Mass is measured in kilogram. Weight is measured in Newton. Mass remains constant everywhere. Weight changes. Weight is a vector quantity. Mass is a scalar quantity. Weight, uh, weight is measured by spring balance. Mass is measured by <coughs> physical balance. Difference between action and reaction. Action and reaction the if two bodies we have two bodies exerts force on each other for example we push the earth the force when we walk on the ground when you walk on the ground the force exerted but the force that we exert on earth surface is called force of action and as a result the force exerted by the earth on us is called force of reaction force of action is in one direction and force of reaction is in the opposite direction but equal in magnitude and the next sliding friction and rolling friction Difference between sliding and rolling friction. 
and rolling friction sliding this 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 body slide on on the surface of earth and this body roll on the uh, on the ground surface there is a single point of contact contacts so friction will be less friction is less many points many points are in contact so more friction more friction so sliding friction is greater than the rolling friction because in rolling friction there is a single point of contact and in sliding friction there is many point of contact question number 3.4 is what is law of inertia what is law of inertia simply you will write newton first law newton first law is also called law of inertia newton first law so he is asking about newton first law what is newton first law of motion why is it dangerous to travel on the roof of a bus 3.4 why is it dangerous to travel here it means to walk to travel on the roof of a moving bus so the answer is very simple if a bus is moving and you if you remain stand if you walk on the on the on the on the roof of of the bus and he suddenly apply brakes suddenly apply brakes due to inertia your body will continue uh, mo uh, forward motion due to inertia due to inertia your body will continue the the, the motion on the roof of the floor and as a result the the bus have applied brakes so you will uh, there is a dangerous uh, to uh, to fall from the uh, from the top of the from the roof of, of the bus now 3.6 simply you will feel jerk in the forward direction and there will be chances of injury how you can relate a force with a change of momentum 3.5 3.6 3.7 how you can relate momentum and force we have to derive this relation you can write del p divided by t also body here initial velocity momentum is uh, mass is m initial momentum is mvi after some time will uh, after some time velocity changes to vf final velocity is v momentum is mvf so change in momentum is equal to m v f minus m v i we are i have already derived it divided by time taking m common v f minus v i divided by t so is equal to m a which is equal to this is equal to force and this is equal to del p divided by t which is a uh, Uh, which relates the momentum with the, the force now what will be the tension in a string this is not in your syllabus 3.8 action and reaction are always equal but opposite in direction then 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 how does a body move the next question is now look at your book and read the question number 3.9 action and reaction are always equal but opposite in direction then how they then how does a body move 
then how does a body move action force of action and force of reaction are applied in different are applied in different interval of time interval of time action time is different action time is different so that's why they does not cancel each other action time is different question number 3.10 a horse pulls the cart 3.10 have same answer force of action is is acting at different interval of time and force of reaction same answer both are acting at different interval of time 3.11 what is la up conservation of momentum what is la of conservation of momentum the momentum of an isolated system always remains constant isolated system momentum is always remains constant momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision moment the momentum of an isolated system always remain constant next question is why is the law of conservation of momentum important this is your home assignment do it by yourself i will do the next 3.13 when a gun is fired it recoils why when a gun is fired it will recoil why the answer is very simple when a gun is fired it recoils why question fire from a gun fire from a gun why you feel jerk in the backward direction in let's say initial momentum of bullet initial velocity is zero gun is also in the state of rest so initial velocity of gun is also zero let's per gun we use u after when the uh, when bullet is fired its final velocity will become v when gun will the velocity of gun we have to find u prime we have to find according to law of conservation of momentum the mass of bullet is m and mass of gun is represented by capital m then momentum of the bullet plus momentum of gun before collision is equal to momentum of the bullet after collision plus momentum of gun after collision so initial momentum will be equal to zero because velocity is zero so write zero plus final momentum will be equal to mv is equal to final momentum uh, sorry this is the initial momentum of the initial momentum of the gun which is zero because velocity is zero final momentum of bullet is equal to mvf is equal to mv because v is equal to v and momentum of the gun is equal to m u f m u f or just write u prime so when this is transferred to this side it will become minus 
एम वी डिवाइड बाई एम मास ऑफ गन यू सो वेलोसिटी ऑफ गन इज इक्वल टू माइनस एम वी डिवाइड बाई कैपिटल एम दिस इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द गन वेन इट इज इट मीन्स दैट आई विल एरेज दिस फर्स्ट आई विल एरेज देन आई द वेलासिटी ऑफ गन इज इक्वल टू यू विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस एम वी डिवाइड बाई एम इट मीन्स दैट द गन विल रिकॉल इन द बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन टू कीप द टोटल मोमेंटम कंजर्व टू कीप द टोटल मोमेंटम टोटल मोमेंटम कंजर्व Now next, describe two situation in which force of friction is needed. When when we walk on the ground first, two situation in which friction is needed. When we walk on the ground, when brakes are applied. Brakes are applied. Next question is how does oiling the moving parts of a machinery lowers the friction? Uh, you will do it by yourself. This is also home assignment three point fifteen. Describe the ways to reduce friction. So write any three ways. You, uh, you describe the ways to reduce friction by lubricating the different parts of lubricating different parts of machinery. Lubricating. second by making it its shape which type to reduce air friction uh, replacing sliding friction by rolling friction and you can write many others why rolling friction is less than sliding friction it is already answer what you know about the following Uh, it is just definition three point in three point eighteen. You will write the definition and explanation of different topics: tension in a string, limiting friction, uh, breaking force, uh, skidding up vehicles, uh, seat belt. Uh. If you have any confusion, ask in Zoom class. Uh. Banking up road scream separator. What would happen if all friction suddenly disappear? Three point nineteen. If friction becomes zero. It, the question means that if friction is zero, what will happen? If a body in motion will remain in motion, and a body in rest will remain in rest, there will be no life. There will be no life on Earth's surface. Why the spinner of a washing machine is made to spin at very high speed? Last question. Why the spinner of a washing machine is made to spin at very high speed? So when it spin at a very high speed, spin when it spin at a very high speed, it will push the dense uh, uh, it will push the denser particle away from the axis of rotation. To push denser particle. Away from the axis of rotation. Now, now summary of the chapter. This chapter we starts from dynamics. We already explained the study of motion and causes. Then we explain force. Anything which produces acceleration is called force. Push or pull is also called force. or an agent which changes or tend to change the state of an object this is force and then we studied inertia the property due to which it opposes change of state opposes change of state then we studied newton first law and newton second law 
but before that we explain momentum momentum is the product of mass and velocity uh, that property from which we can say that how difficult or easier it is to stop a moving vehicle or bring that vehicle in, into 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 in the state of motion newton first law uh, we explain that if a body consists of two parts this is first of all this is first part and this is the second part if a body in rest it will continue rest and if a body in motion it will continue its state of motion if no external force act on the system when force is zero it means ma is equal to zero because force is equal to ma and then acceleration is equal to zero so a force means no acceleration then we studied newton's second law newton's second law state that acceleration is directly proportional to the force and acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of an object then we studied difference between mass and weight and then we studied newton third law action and reaction are always equal but opposite in direction this is equal and here the negative sign indicates that they are in opposite direction then we studied law of conservation of momentum the total momentum before a collision is equal to the total momentum after collision if no external force act on the system it is simba simba it is uh, the compare it in in one way it represents la newton third law of motion this is the example friction friction is the force which opposes the motion of one body over the surface of an other body opposes the motion of one body over the surface of an other body then we explain different types of friction static friction when the force of friction between this body and the earth surface when both are at rest both are at rest is called static friction limiting friction the maximum value of static friction the maximum value of static friction is called limiting friction after this value motion will starts if you increase applied force then uh, the limiting friction the body will start in here you increase the force friction also increases here the the body is in state of rest but this is called limiting friction this is called limiting friction this value is static friction if, you, uh, if when the body start motion the force of friction drops and then remains constant called kinetic friction you will write the advantages and disadvantages of friction and uh, you will also write uh, how to reduce friction and you will write the general relation for friction which is equal to mu into fn f is equal to mu into r the r is equal to fn is equal to w these means same uh, equations same uh, force thank you students wish you best of luck allah hafiz